Hello World, I'm Scott Simpson, reporter from News 95.7 Radio in Halifax. I'm about to begin the Learning to Run for Smokers program offered by the Lung Association of Nova Scotia, an eight-week program designed to get smokers like me off the couch and exercising and hopefully running a 5K in just under two months. Now before I begin week one, a little bit of background about me. I'm 37 years old and I've been a smoker for about 10 years and I've been overweight most of my life. Montage. Love a good montage. Now, before we begin, it's time to weigh in. Let's see where I'm starting. This is not designed to be a weight loss program, but I do want to keep track of this. So, all right, step one, pro tip here. If you can't see over your gut to get your weight, you may need to lose weight. It says 244.6, we'll call that 245 pounds. Now, what am I going to do with that number? Well, eventually over time I get a graph that looks like this. I'll explain what this is in the weeks to come and how it matters. Now if I take my height, my weight, and do some math, I get the BMI, or body mass index. And according to the charts, that BMI comes out to mean, it's an awfully big word. So it's time to begin the beginning. And off we go to the Halifax Curling Club. Gotta get ready to run. I will go around the group, so if you could introduce yourselves and if you've come to this group before, say you've come to this group before and just any other little tidbit that you want to add, then please add it. These people look like Now we do divide into three groups and I will explain it better after the parking one. So A group, my group, the walkers. Uh, B group, the people that you know, want to start jogging but haven't really jogged much in the past. And then Brenda will be taking the runners. Um, those people that think <laughs> that know that they could they can jog for a little way. Alright, we just did a warm up and my glasses are foggy as you can see. And my legs are a little bit. Walk jog, where's the walk jog? Jog walk, walk jog. I'm sweaty and now it's time to run. That was 400 meters intervals, alternating running and walking from here to the Martello Tower and back again. And I'm only halfway done. So, was that? What, what did we run? 800 meters. We Total? Here. No, we have now run 1,600 meters, which is one mile. So it's 400 there, 400 back, 400 there, 400 back. Alternating. One mile. A mile? A mile. Oh. Is more? No. What? Come on. A walk? I'm going to do a 1.5 kilometer walk back to the club. Well, that sounds good. Is there steam coming off my head? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is, actually. All right. Right, what are we what are we doing here? Okay, so this machine here measures your carbon monoxide levels in your in your blood. Yeah. Uh, carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas. Um, the higher the levels means the more you smoke. Okay. Um, so if you blow anything above a, th a two or a three, it means you've been smoking. 
Um, what you do, the simple detector. So like non-smokers get a two or a three? Non-smokers get around about two or three. If you, if you um, are exposed to a lot of pollution or wood stoves, then your levels will be around about a three or a four, but uh, non-smokers are around about the two. And a smoker would get? Anything, anything above um, four or five All right. goes uh, really high, depending on how many cigarettes you smoke in a day. Okay. So the more you smoke, the higher your levels. I'm game. Okay. So what you do is you breathe in, you hold your breath for 15 seconds, and then you breathe out through the mouthpiece. Okay. Is there a 15-second timer on there this? There is or? a timer on this. Okay. So are ready? you ready to go? I'm ready. Okay. Breathe in. Hold your breath. And when it beeps on the third time, you breathe out without breathing in again. It's the longest 15 seconds. Breathe out. That should be fine. Yep, don't kill yourself. <laughs> it's counting up. It's counting Eight, up. Nine. Still going. Ten. Eleven. It's gone in the red zone. Okay. So okay, so eleven parts per million. Yeah, that's the carbon monoxide level in your blood. So you've got that eleven parts per million carbon. Um, monoxide in your blood and that actually means that your oxygen is less likely to get to your tissues and your organs because the carbon monoxide takes the oxygen's place. It kicks, it kicks the oxygen it off kicks my hemoglobins. Hemoglobin. Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the higher the level, the less oxygen you're actually going to get to your tissues and your, and your um, organs. Now if I exercise yep. and my aerobic capacity goes up, does that mean that I can smoke more and have a lower carbon monoxide level or is this, is this something that will hold me back from feeling well? This will hold you back from feeling well. No matter how fit you are, if you smoke, you'll still have a high carbon monoxide reading. Oh. <laughs> All right. Exercise is going to help. Exercise is going to help your, your overall health, but the carbon monoxide will still be in your blood, preventing the oxygen getting to your tissues. All right. Yep. I, I've learned something. Okay. Thank you, Jane. Okay.